Hello, welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon with me, Samuel Higgins, and we're back in the SJH Games office um, where we left off. We left with Style My Life. So, as you can see, we're also doing contract work and um, we've just got some money, so that's good. But, um, Style My Life, the life simulation, a bit like The Sims, but nothing like The Sims. Um, is doing okay, it's not done that well, and we are doing really badly with money in the bank. So, um, this could be the last episode. That That is really scary. The last episode in the series. I don't know where I go wrong. Well, I kind of do. I go and waste my money. But, um, we need to make a really good game. But the thing is, to do that, we need a new engine. And we can't afford it. So we're going around in circles and we're just losing money. So this this could be the end, but we're, we're going to try our best. So come on. Here we go. So um, how much does it cost to create a new engine? Le <sighs> Do I risk it? No. Let's develop a sequel to... Um, Robert's Rad Roadies. Everybody loved that game. So Wild West RPG. Uh, we'll do it on the play system. And it has to be the ice block. And it's... Um, Ro Robert's back in town. There we go. Robert's back in town, everybody. <laughs> so 2D graphics. Um, start development and linear story big focus on story and we'll do that and that yep okay we're risking it there's a bit of hype because it's the um, the sequel to the hit success of Robert's Rad Roadies so let's hope it does well We'll do that, that should be fine. I really do hope this makes some money. Otherwise, we are literally stuffed. I don't know what we're gonna do. Look, 144K, this could be the end. This could be SJH's games' last, um, the last game. But anyway, sound about there, world design, big focus on world design and graphics. That should be fine over there, yep. Look at the hype, it's going up slowly. Not the best hype, but it's giving hype, which... <laughs> I, I can't speak because I'm just I'm scared that this could be the end. All the bugs are gone, any more bubble... Oh my word, 68k. Right, let's get this game out of here. This, this is... This is what will either make SJH games continue or break SJH games. So um, I'm quite scared. Oh no, I don't want to see what the reviews say. Oh no. I'm closing my eyes. Please say they're good. Eight! Love it! From Star Games. Six, I like it from Informed Gamer. Come on, we need seven. Six, quirky but good. You you can give us an eight. Seven, good game. All games. So, it's alright. Not the breakthrough we wanted, but it's hopefully not breaking the business. So, let's see if we get any profit. Uh, it's alright, amount of units. We're getting some money, which is good. We should quickly do some contract work, uh, playtest, accept, and we'll make some um, money. In two months, the Super Tez will be taken off the market. There's a clear trend towards casual games. Do we have casual games um, researched? Um, casual games. Is it under new topic? Ca 
Casual games. How do you do casual games? Gameplay, product management, story and quest, dialogues, AI, multiplayer. Hmm. Nope. Anyway, we got more money. And we're going to quickly develop a new game to try and get more money. So, we'll do a racing game, simulation, on the play system, because everybody loves their racing games. And this is to make money. Um, um, I don't know if I've done a game like this already, but Donkey Racers. I really can't remember the past games that we've done. I might have done this on my own with my friend Sam. I keep mentioning him. He's my he's a good friend of mine. Um, he, he he liked my Pirates Attack game. He, he gave it a good review, so that that's good. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm going on about, you're gonna have to watch um, not the previous episode, but the episode before that. So um, you bet you best. I hope you guys are keeping up with the series. If you haven't watched all the episodes yet, click on the playlist and watch it. But anyway, after that short advertisement, <laughs> let's get donkey races on the go. So 2D graphics. And you don't want a story or quest. That should be fine. Get those bubbles going. We got a bit of hype. For donkey racers, everybody loves donkeys and everybody loves racing. So, ah, oh, that's good. Let's get these dialogues down. AI about there. That should be fine. Getting a bit of hype. Come on, hype it up a bit more. There we go. Two hype for donkey racers. Woo! Anyway, world design. You want a good world design. You want to be able to free roam your donkeys and. Um, Race your donkeys like around the Eiffel Tower, uh, past Big Ben, and past the Sydney Opera House. Everybody wants it. And even in like the North Pole. See, we want a big world map. And sounds, not much sounds, it's just like. And um, like. Three, two, one, race your donkeys. So, um. Yeah, the sound can stay there. Graphics, we want we want some good donkey graphics. So, um, yep, we'll do that. Any more hype for donkey racers? Oh yeah, bit of hype. Anyway, the Super Tears is no longer supported. I can't remember if we did anything on there. But um, we should have a look at our game history. But anyway, Robert's back in town is now back off. It's now off. The market and um, it did quite all right it's uh, kept us safe um, with money wise but donkey races will either break us or make us and I said that last time but really this this is it so we'll get rid of the bugs get the last bit of bubbles ah oh, g3 ah oh, talking about g3 e3 happens just the other of a day. I uh, kept up to date with that and um, the PS4 I, I'm a PlayStation person so the PS4 is good. I don't like the way it looks but the ideas about it looks brilliant and um, Battlefield 4 looks brilliant and uh, what's that oh, what's that game? other game? I think it was from is it Ubisoft? They're like shooting game where Oh, I've forgotten what it was, but you, you've got to find out what it is because it looked brilliant. It's where like you're in New York, and there's everything's gone crazy. Like everyone's got ill. I, I can't remember exactly. I need to. I, I, I need to look up on it. But anyway, um, we can't have a medium booth. We'll have a small booth. We want to go to G3. This could be our last time to be at G3. So. Let's do it. And we may take donkey racers along with us. But anyway, let's finish this. Get a last bubble. And I think we might have some new records. Yep, new record in technology. So that's good. And we leveled up in story and qu quests and dialogues. 
and I don't think we've um Oh, sound as well, but that's it. That, that's good. Let's release the game. We've got new research, branching story, dialogue tree, stereo sound. We've got so much we can add to a custom engine, but we just have no money for it. I'm really upset. I've wasted my money too much. It all began with going for that massive booth in G3 the first time we went. That was just, that was just stupid, and I regret it, and I wish we could go back and change it, but we can't. So... Let's just get on with it. Here's the first reviews. I'm scared. Oh dear. We didn't forget about sound. Arrgh. Give us a seven. Oh. Four, five, five. Has its moments. Focus well on uh, level design. It's got six, could have been more. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Oh dear. Our money's not going up. Hopefully this gets us some publicity for donkey races. I don't think people like their donkeys anymore. I thought donkey races were brilliant where you can race your donkeys against your mates and like free roam the map. It'd be brilliant. I'd love a game like that. Oh. Yeah. Don't care. <laughs> oh dear. Um, can we do any contract work? Yeah. Do it. We need as much work as possible done. We need as much money as possible. So... Get those bubbles going. And we'll get some money. And, um. I want to create a custom engine. Oh, there's so much we could add in. But it is way too much money. We haven't. <laughs> this is horrible. Let's. Let's research a new topic and let's research game dev. <laughs> let's make a game about this game in a game because everybody likes games and we'll send him on a vacation while we research this game of game dev. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, look at our money. Oh no. Well, Sam and Christian, it's been nice knowing you, but this might be the end. <laughs> uh, can't remember what episode. We're on episode 6, I think. So this series hasn't been that long. I'm really sad. But it's not over yet. But anyway, game dev. And it's a simulation. And it's on the PC. Using the ice block. For everyone. Game Maker Game Maker There we go <laughs> Game Maker Sim I don't, uh, uh, Game Maker Tycoon Because it's not Game Dev Tycoon is it? It's Game Maker Tycoon So um, yeah <laughs> Next 2D graphics yeah Oh dear the money Oh dear. Anyway, let's get that up like there. Have a bit of story. Okay. There's a bit of hype for Game Maker Tycoon. Everybody loves their game dev simulations. A bit like me on Game Dev Tycoon right now. Um, dialogues. No. That should be fine. Uh, about there, yep. Getting a bit of hype. Six hype. Seven. Eight. And sounds. And world design. About there. That should be fine. And we are. This is, this is the game that either makes it or breaks it. 
because we've got 6.4k in the bank. Now we've gone in the reds. This is where it goes wrong. Your bank account is in the reds. Thankfully, your bank has enabled you to overdraw your account up to 200k. But be careful. If your account balance is below minus 200k, you will go bankrupt. That's not good. Not good at all. Anyway, news. The day Vayner fans have waited a long time for has arrived, as Vayner has announced their next generation console, the Dreamcast, which everyone knows is the Dreamcast. But anyway, a company spokesperson said the Dreamcast is a dream come true. This console is the most advanced gaming console in history. The new console supports powerful graphics, hardware promising graphics quality rivaling those on high end PCs, and blah blah blah. You've heard it all before. <laughs> I really can't be bothered. I'm, I'm re feeling sad because this could be the end. But anyway, we've got a new record in design. Yep, new record. That's good. And have we leveled up in anything? I don't think so. Nope. So, this, I've said this for the past couple of games, but I really mean it this time. This is what will break or make the company. And you'll find out in the next episode. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Don't stop the video. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh dear. Let's release the game. Oh no, I'm really scared. Oh, six, I like it. Give us a nine. Seven, they focus on gameplay, serve their game very well. Seven, enjoyable. Give us an eight. Ah, oh, seven, nice experience. So all around pretty much sevens. Um, so that's good. Hopefully we get some money. We're still in the red, which is, which is not good. There we go, we're out the red, but we could go straight back in the red. But let's uh, do some contracts while we wait. There we go. I'm feeling a bit happier now that we're in 100k. That's not good still though. Um, more contract work. Um, that should be fine. Can we get in the 200? There we go, 200k. I'm feeling, feeling a bit happier now that we've um, got out of the red. Um, but I, I really hope we we need to reach 1 million. Um, but yeah. Let's do that. Are we going to... Oh no, we might run out of time. Come on, come on, come on. No! That's not good. We didn't need that. Oh dear. We're on 182k now. Okay, we've got time for another game. And game history. What is a game that everybody loved? Um, Pirates Attack. We did a sequel to that. Pirates Attack 2. That was rubbish. Castle Wars Future. Um, let's do a sequel to Castle Wars Future. If I can find it. There we go. And this is going to be a medieval action. And it's on the play system. And it's the ice block. And it's for everyone. And it's Castle Wars Extreme. The Castle Wars series has, has done pretty well in the past. 
it's been the best series um, for SJH games. And um, let's just hope this brings in the money. So, yeah. Soaring quests, main focus. About there will do. We've got 77k, we're going to go in the red again. Boss, I've discovered that some really dedicated fans of Spotty Sports have created a fan game using a lot of the material from our game. They don't make any money with it and just seem to do it for fellow fans. Our legal advisors strongly suggest that we shouldn't allow this to go on. What do you want to do? If we stop them, then we lose fans. Let them be. We could have made some money by stopping that. I don't know, but... Do that. That should be fine. We're going to go in the red in a minute. Oh, 11k. As I said before, I, uh, I keep saying it, but this is what will break or make the company. Um, well designed, big world. We'll do it like that. That should be fine. Hi, I'm Denise Reed, the main developer of the Spotty Sports fan game. I've recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just wanted to say that I'm very grateful that you didn't. That's good. SJH Games is the best company in the world, and I'm glad I could be part of the fan community. Ah, oh, that's good. So we now gained 700 more fans, which is which is good. Um, yeah, we've got a bit of hype for Castle Wars. Not as much hype as I thought we would, actually. I forgot about hype. Um, we can't go to G3 this year. So, I'm sorry, because we're in the red. Um, we'll finish that off, because this may be over for um, SJH Games. So, we haven't leveled up in anything. We've come quite far, we've done quite a lot of few things, we've done Castle Wars series, we've done Crash Course, remember Spotty Sports and uh, Space Tunes I think, that was a rubbish um, game, but we've done Robert's Rad Roadies, um, we've done so much, the company has come so far but this may be the end, so... Castle Wars Extreme could be the last game we ever release and it's either the best or the worst game. This will either help the company continue or this will be the end of the company. And you will find out whether SJH Games makes it or breaks. In the next episode. I'm really sorry about that. But we're going to end it here. If you've enjoyed this episode. Please give it a like. Give it a favourite. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't. Show your support. Um, it really encourages me to make more videos. Now I don't know how long the next episode is going to be. Because it could be the ends. But um, yeah. We'll just have to wait and see. But um, as I said, interact with me because it really encourages me to make more games. And um, if you have any other games than Game Dev Tycoon that like, you want me to play, like um, if you want me to do Don't Starve, then tell me below in the comments. Or Prison Architect, comment below and tell me. Or Little Inferno, I've got that as well. And I've got loads of other games. Hotline Miami. Um, just name a game that you'll want me to make a series on and I may do it but anyway I'll see you in my next Game Dev Tycoon episode um, so thank you for watching goodbye